the only problem is this today i mean i am for all for transparency in fact i have this is not a sealed cover procedure let me be very clear but today an investigation is going on correct i right? might follow that if what cbi has told us in the course of the investigation is revealed probably the investigation will get scuttled because people will, be, will become wise on what are the leads which have emerged in the course of the I, investigation I, so that's the I only bow thing. Down. i bow down straight away my yes. only you see the yeah. intervention in between will will no, uh, will uh, cause a problem so what we would like you to do mr huda is please you have to you have to you know redaction is not possible in these kind if it's redacted then it will have nothing of uh, the it will have nothing of substance uh, you will have to show us prima facie on the basis of your submissions that the leak is so systemic and has affected the entire examination process across the country that we must cancel the examination and direct a fresh examination to be held yes. that is the area where we want to hear you no, and then we we'll hear the learned solicitor in response to that i will i will assess this on the report then, that one, just one second the second second we have some ideas also on what we are going to post to the solicitor thereafter please sir we would like you to assist us on assuming if we accept your wider submission that you must have a fresh neat examination then that's what you exactly want suppose in the alternative after hearing you both we are not with you then we would like you to also assist the court on which are the further lines of investigation what are the lines of investigation which must be carried out in the sense that which are the specific issues which must be investigated so uh, we would like your assistance on both the yes. other is an alternate argument yes but that alternative argument has also come in my supplementary note which i have circulated yesterday okay we'll in the that. same matter i have suggested yes. that this is the line of investigation should be conducted to unearth this entire controversy all right then but we'll look at that later on we'll read it with you at the outset lord i was flagging my handicap in assist i'm not i'm assisting i'm not <laughs> saying that but the handicap i have in assisting this honorable court in this leak matter one they have not declared the entire result they have declared the result of 100 people and my assistance is information gathered from here and there the upsc lord in ias exam they declare the result of entire people at least they should have declared the result of this 1 lakh people who get admission first 50000 in the medical colleges just one and second the, the two handicaps will not make kindly notice i will have in the course of my assistance to the honorable court first 50000 how many seats in the government medical colleges 56000 and not everybody clamor for these first 56000 even the people below 56000 may be willing uh to go for a re examination and how many in the private medical colleges 52 56 and 52 that is 1 lakh 8000 now lord if re exam happens literally it is if all of them do not want re examination the total number is 1 lakh 8000 people not 23 lakh people the remaining 22 lakh people have not I, have not got admission at all have not got admission so except they, the they fact, are willing except for the fact except for the fact that if some people have wrongly got into the 1 lakh 8000 category right. that's right then somebody below somebody below the 1 lakh 8000 can legitimately get into that 1 lakh 8 that's right so but in fact the balance is this 1 lakh if all of them 1 lakh don't want re examination this 1 lakh on one side and 22 lakh on the other side who would like to take a chance in view of the uh, this examination is marred by controversy all 22 lakh would like to have a second chance that argument yes, you know, mr huda there is a problem forget the question of leak in this matter merely because say went out of 22 lakh 1 lakh 8 only have got admission Correct. or would get admission and therefore you are left with say 21 uh, about 20 lakhs 22 lakhs 22 lakh students who would want to take a chance we cannot order an reexamination merely because they Correct. want to take a That's chance right. but i just re wanted examination i just wanted examination has to be on a concrete footing that the right. sanctity of the entire examination has been I, I bow down i just wanted to dispel an impression that the stake in the reexamination is of lakhs of people no the stake is of 1 lakh 8000 people i will have to set up uh, demonstrate conclusively that we cannot segregate tainted from the untainted 
in tanvi sabra sabarwal case and the judgment authored by malo clearly says in tanvi sarwal's case the finding was we have identified 44 candidates out of 6 lakhs the remaining we are not able to identify so we cannot permit even 10 so, people so would i think you know you need not labor that point Correct. because you're absolutely right on that i'm so great that if you can as a conceptually so, that if you can establish that it is not possible to segregate the tainted from the untainted Correct. then the whole examination has to go because yes. those basic you can of course show those authorities briefly to us yes, sir. at a at a certain point Please. but uh, when we have looked at the facts but before we go into the authorities we want to you to address the core of the facts before us now mulot i will try to first summarize my case and then elaborate all that so that mulot uh, as a Fair. idea what i am saying so you can summarize ma'am my brother just pardiwala would like to know out of 108000 totally how many petitioners are before the court i think they have a figure 108 indians 108 mr koshik if you can just ask somebody uh, any of your uh, team from the nta to just do this uh, physical exercise of telling us even at lunch yes. or after lunch uh, how many total students are involved in the matters before the not involved but how many students have moved the court in this batch of cases i have not with utmost respect my lords that may approximately inlets 108 are seeking reconduct of the examination the council 50 108 who are seeking re exam yes. are amongst 1 lakh 8000 no yes yes no 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 no, no, no. they'll be outside 1 lakh 8 they are outside 1 lakh 8 it oh, can't be they can't because 1 lakh 8000 would have Sir. would get uh, they have such like they cannot seek re examination at all i represent so all those who have not been able to yes, clear yes, yes. Not some people within 1 lakh you know are also yes. before your lordships Out because they say they will not get into government medical they, they, they will not get into government they will get into it why that in my pet seeking re examination 5700 now in charge unless we ask a question to some other council the others may not interrupt because otherwise you know our line of thinking is also affected and he is deflected also he has his thought process in some matter yes also uh, brother mr mishra had a point what is the minimum mark which has been received by the petitioners before the court we just want you need not give us an off and answer just do it at lunch and tell us well can i one thing my lad in i petition in my petition my lad One is having, my less seven hundred. Another is having six. How will we be able to just wait for a minute? Let's have the let's have the conceptual basis of the matter. We can't go in individual facts like this. Let's mm -hmm. let's have the concept very clear before us, and then we can see where the balance lies. Yes, Mr. Roll. We'll hear you. We're not going to run away. We are here to hear you and do justice to the matter. So one lakh one thirty one students beyond one lakh eight thousand who want a retest and two fifty four. they are in the form of ias not for implement who are opposing sir opposing the retest and what's the fair fall within 1 lakh 8 thousand tell us also what is the cut off rank for the 56000 and for the 1 lakh 8 thousand 164 is the cut off mark 164 means that you are above the 50th percentile so about half half the people have a qualification to be allotted a seat but not everybody will be allotted a seat so it's a dynamic process there is one like 8000 seats available some of them may not opt for medicine some may go into iit this that and the other so the figure will come down and also depending on whether you have a reserve category or something so it is not so it is dynamic but roughly say i think the uh, last figures will stop at 2 to 1/2 lakhs Uh, rank wise but i am starting with a handicap i do not have the result because of that i cannot have the data analytics which the state has placed uh, nta has placed on record giving the bell curve and lord one of the director of iit madras is a member of the governing body of nta they have run the data analytics process taking the entire number of 23 lakh 33000 candidates who sat in the examination if data analytics is to be run to 23 lakh 33000 people at what stage 10000 or 20000 people have sneaked into it this data analytics running into half a page which every dot 
means thousands of people. You cannot detect any abnormality when you draw a bell curve, which is based on 23,33,000. The correct procedure, if at all they were doing it, the correct procedure was to apply this process to 1,8,000 people. The first 1 lakh people in 2021, 22, 23 and 24, probably the curve would have been able to catch 1,000, 2,000 people going up and down. Now even 1% is up, is into thousands of candidates. This Honorable Court has not tolerated even if it comes to a conclusion that 1,000 people have entered into the system of this 1 lakh which we are not able to detect. This examination cannot be sustained. Well, that's one aspect about what IIT Madras has done. Yes. Now, what about, how do you develop, now you can develop the basic case I'm, that you have. I'm demonstrating that IIT Madras can't be relied upon. Because the, they have taken the entire body of 21.33 lakhs. That's right. And according to you, that data analytics should have been done on the restricted figure of 1,8,000 right. and compare that with 2021, 22 and 23. So great. And Bullard, the governing body member is the uh, of NTA is the director of uh, IIT Metros. There is a conflict of interest. Lord. No, but therefore you take it. I mean, what is at the highest? What does that lead to? Your argument is that the data analytics has been done by NTA itself. Correct. That's right. It can't be higher than that. And apply. That's, That's because the that because the director of IIT Madras is also on the governing body of NTA. That's right. That's you are, Actually, he is not. He's not, they he say. Present in but present in my request. Right. He says he is not on the board of directors of NTA. Oh, I see. He was an outsider who's uh, without expertise. But anybody with... from IIT Madras who is on the governing body of uh, NTA? It was, it was. was means in the past. In past. Today, IIT Madras has no uh, nobody from IIT Madras so in NTA. That was that past period when he exited. Uh, but the person or the director who has prepared this report. Mr. Uh, Solicitor, just sit for a second and ask them what the position is so that uh, you can have a seat.